Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest and we are here once again in Slough Creek in the winter with Katari and Terrell and we've had a little bit of a break from Wolf Quest over the weekend here um, be because I gave you guys some polls and you guys have voted and we had a couple of polls and there's one that's still running that I'll put in the, um, the video description which concerns what to do with Luke Han. And that one has had quite a few votes, but it's actually, it's tied up at the moment. So I can't continue with that, un, with that poll until, and with that, and with going on in Wolf until we know what we're doing. So please go vote in that poll. It's going to be in the description. But you guys have voted on Katari and Terrell's next litter, and you have voted on how to handle deaths. And the unanimous vote we had, it was unanimous. Oh my goodness, the bunny is white! I've never actually seen this, but that's a new feature in the this, the most recent update, is that the the bunnies actually turn white in the winter time and they're technically their hairs um but uh, that is so cool but you have voted on how to handle several different things and we're going to investigate some of the other dens sometimes i just want to interject this here because i believe we have actually unlocked a new den so that is where we're heading and or have we no we don't have quite enough so I'd like to try and play um, a level at this den because we are like 100 experience points away, so I believe. So I'm going to try hunting an elk over in this area, in this elk hunting ground uh, while I'm talking. But you guys have voted on how we should handle um, wolf deaths, as in the death of the current player wolf, which in this case is Katari. And you guys have also voted on their next litter. And so we have decided that the Katari and Terrell will have four litters. And this next litter will be pretty easy because they're still pretty young, still pretty strong. And they have experience from their previous litter, which actually did really, really well. We had all four puppies survive. So logically this next litter should be even easier oh terrell don't chase her in the creek <laughs> um and let me get names on so i can see who's who's where um but you never know what might happen so even though we are playing on pretty easy right now things could still go drastically wrong at any time and oh gosh not in the creek okay i think we're gonna be able to i think we're gonna be able to stop her here hopefully there we go she's turning around so let me come at her from behind and hold on, or I guess I can't hold on too, too tired at the moment. Um, <laughs> but so hopefully this litter will not be too difficult, but you never know what might happen. But you have also voted on how to handle deaths so that in the event that our player wolf, at our, right now Katari, and for future puppies, although I may put this poll up again with every generation, just to see if you guys change your minds on this or just to see what you guys are thinking. I'll probably put up polls on this from time to time. Um, but um, you have decided that if Katari were to die, we would not revive her now that she has an heir. Now, if our wolf dies without an heir, that would be something else to discuss. And we will do that when we continue with the next generation. But for now, we are going to continue on with Terrell and Katari. And ooh, ooh, we don't want her to go too far this way because there's stranger wolf territory up ahead. Um, and the territory expands greatly on the journey to the summer hunting grounds. That is the downside of the dens over here is that they are a lot closer to the druid territory down here, which is what this one is, I believe. I don't know if it actually marks them, but it, at least it used to be the druid pack territory in the 2.5 version um but so that is what you guys have decided and we may vote on some of these things again in the future we may not um it, it really just depends on if i start to hear dissent in the comments or what you guys are saying or if we have a good reason to retake a poll but for now that is how we will be going and so the way this will progress from here is that um, Katari and Terrell will have their next litter on pretty easy. 
and sorry, <laughs> don't stand under the elk when it's kicking you. Um, and then after that, their next litter will be arduous because even though they're experienced, they are get, will be getting a little bit older. They'll be four or five by well, they're four right now. They'll be five by the time they have their next litter, and six by the litter after that, which will be bring it on possibly even older so we should have yes the next den has unlocked and that is the den over here and I think we may want to choose this den and see and I know this den at least in the old version had kind of a bad reputation of being a little bit glitchy but I believe that's all been fixed in this version in the in the 2.7 version I know in 2.0 and 2.5 people were like this den is like that was like the troll den but um I believe it is better in this version. So we will go ahead and choose this den. We'll say maybe these guys stumbled upon it while exploring and thought it might be a good idea to maybe try out a different den because even though the journey went really well from that den, even though Terrell pulled that amazing stunt with being able to get the puppies across the river all by himself pretty much, we'll go ahead and make this our den. Um, even though he pulled that amazing stunt and was able to do that, um, it was still quite a long journey and it was kind of scary at some point. So now we're supposed to mark our territory, but I am going to come down and hunt some more and try and bring some elk towards the den. Um, and possibly towards the summer hunting grounds because that is something I think these two learned is that... It is good to have food to be ready to feed the puppies as you get closer to the summer hunting ground. So these guys are going to do a little hunting over there as well. And where is the elk herd? I think the one that was here before must have despawned. Um, so we're going to try and get that out of the way. So I'm, I'm hoping this one won't be too hard. This, or maybe, I, <laughs> I don't know. Is that a good thing to hope for? It's always more interesting when it's harder. But um, it probably won't be as hard as before. But we'll actually have to see. Um, because you never know on any difficulty things can go south at any time it really just depends I should be using scent view because I can't find these elk. kind of sometimes you can kind of just run out in there and they're right there now I see ravens up ahead I think ravens may spawn over actual elk herds too and not just over carcasses yeah it looks like they do so that explains the ravens that we were seeing the one time when we thought there might be a carcass but we couldn't find one. Oh, and that is the other thing i actually talked to um the developers about that eagle thing that was going on and actually that is an intended feature of the game which i did not know if the eagle does not see a good opportunity to steal a puppy it will fly away and that's what exactly what it did all those times when we were playing the game last time it was apparently katari was close enough or Terrell was close enough to be able to fend off the eagle without formally chasing it away so that actually wasn't a glitch and it's kind of cool and it's very helpful it used to be you always had to chase the eagle off but now the eagle is a little smarter and a little more opportunistic and it won't take a chance if it doesn't think it has a good a good shot at getting a puppy so that's something to keep in mind now we'll have to see how their success in the previous litter affects Terrell and Katari does it make them overconfident or do they remain cautious well, we'll really just have to see what comes of that. So I'm gonna come and chase some more of these elk towards our den, and then we'll go ahead and mark territory and hopefully have puppies, whether or not that'll be at the end of this episode or the beginning of the next one. And I still have quite a few names, and you guys are welcome to continue to suggest more names if you have them, but I have quite a few from last time. I actually got close to 30 name suggestions. I think that's just me looking at the list and guesstimating too. It could be even, it might, it may even be more than that. But, um, oh, Terrell, don't chase her that way. <laughs> You're chasing her away from the den, Terrell. That's not helpful. Uh, maybe we'll go after this one in the meantime and kind of wear down, too, because these elk are pretty weak and pretty slow in the winter snows. Um, and Katari and Terrell haven't been having too much of a difficult time going after them. Now, that's not very realistic because... Most wolves probably wouldn't try and hunt two, um, two elk at the same time. Um, they might switch their focus in the middle of a hunt depending on if a, more, if a better opportunity came up, but I don't think these guys would like switch off between elks. That's kind of just um, 
that's kind of just us playing the game. <laughs> but, um, it, it works. It works in the game, and that kind of, I mean, I guess if it was somehow opportunistic, they might, but I don't think they would normally do that intentionally. Okay, Tara, let her be for a minute. Um, but yeah, so, um, if you guys have more name suggestions, by all means, I just stick them in a little notepad document and keep that up when I know we're going to be, um, gonna have puppies that we need to be naming. And I hear a plane. <laughs> so it looks like the researchers are still following Katari. She still has her radio collar and she's still being tracked and monitored by researchers to see how she's doing, to see how she and Terrell are surviving and presumably their pups from the previous litter. That's another reason this is probably going to be pretty easy is because even though they're not in the game right now, I don't know if they ever will be in the future or not, but um, I'm hoping someday the game will come full circle to the point where you can actually go back and replay the Slough Creek mission with the help of your previous year's puppies. But even though they aren't actually in the game right now, Katari and Taylor probably would have Apollo, Cassidy, Lucan, and Neo with them still because the pups would only be one year old and most wolf pups don't disperse until they're two or three. Katari and Terrell dispersed at, well, Katari at two, Terrell I think at two as well. But for the most part, wolves will hang around with their parents for in the pack for at least the first couple of years. And then a lot of the time they will disperse and go try and form a pack of their own. So even though they're not in the game right now, Katari and Terrell would have the help of Apollo and Cassidy and Lucan and Neo to be able to help them raise this um, this year's puppies. So they probably would have a little bit of an easier time just having now six wolves helping out with hunting and raising puppies and kind of keeping the pack corralled and fending off predators. So that's another reason we have it on pretty easy because these guys would have a lot more help this year in real life than they would have last year. <laughs> um, but the game does not account for that at this time. So we'll just kind of have to pretend the puppies are still hanging around. And as for Lucan, like I said, you guys have not exactly decided. I've seen a lot of people saying that they want him, or several people have said they want him to go to the world of Wolf. A couple people are undecided. Um, and I've had a little bit of input saying that he should stay and be considered as one of the heirs and not go to the world of Wolf right now. So we'll have to see. And how many carcasses do we have? We have like four or so, right? Oh, that's Terrell's scent. I was like, why is there wolf scent? Um, we're going to take down one more by the den. And then we're going to go hunt for by the summer hunting grounds. So there's, and that's, like I said, that's still open. And that's why we won't be having an episode of wolf just yet. Because even though you guys have pretty much unanimous told, unanimously told me that you want me to go ahead and stop doing just the small scenarios and actually play a full simulation... We don't know if we'll be using Lucan in that simulation or if we'll be using a different a different wolf. So I'm kind of waiting on that. I'll leave that poll up. But for right now, Lucan is still with Katari and Terrell. And he, he and his siblings are probably hanging out near the den and marking territory and stuff. So we're going to chase this elk, I think, to the sandbar crossing because that is where... Oh, oh Terrell, Terrell, don't chase her that way. We want her to go the other way. Um, <laughs> Terrell tries to help, but he doesn't always quite know what I'm going for. Um, although he certainly knows what he's doing when it comes to puppies and getting them across the creek. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm kind of... Terrell. Oh my goodness, Terrell. I guess he's still locked onto her. So I'm going to let him hit her a few times here um, and bite her. Uh, probably stop him now because I don't want him to get her to turn around before we get to the creek. We're kind of just trying to herd her right now. If he comes after her again, I'm going to stop him because we want to kill her across the creek and we don't want her to get stuck in the water because if she dies in the water, no Terrell, don't do that. <laughs> um, then her carcass will disappear. So once she gets across, we're going to try and kill her just, you can see the little, um, 
the, where there's that large bend in the creek, there's actually crossing right there. And on the other side of that, you can kind of see the top of that embankment will be where the stranger wolves are in the, um, the, f and mission. Terrell, Terrell, seriously, behave yourself. I know you're impatient. I know this seems weird to you, but we have to be patient and strategic about this. So she's going to go this way. We're going to chase her into the creek. And she, dang it, she the elk. She just runs across all on her own. She has nice long legs. And we are now going to try and corral her over here, kind of corner her and um, attack her. Hopefully, oh, now, Terrell, now I need you to buy her. Ooh, don't let her run that way, though. No, 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 no. Oh, she's going to go in the river. She's going to go in the river. No, Terrell, don't do that. <laughs> um, so we're going to swim across, and I'm going to chase the elk back. And we're going to try and kill her right over um, on the middle of that stretch of land we were just on. Because if we can do that, that will be a great first stopping place for our puppies. And where did she go? She's going back. Okay. Ah, she doubled back while we were in the water. But good, she's stuck. She's stuck. So if we can just chase her out. Oh my goodness. Her shadow is kind of spazzing out under that. So we're just going to chase her this way. Uh, okay, she's going to hit the crossing up there. So we are going to try and turn her around. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're going to try and turn her around. Oh, but we keep getting stuck. No, we don't want her going this way. This is where the stranger wolf territory ends up. I'm going to climb out on this bank and try and double her back. Terrell, you are in the way. Try and get her to go this way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, right on the bank. Right on the bank. Right on the bank. Okay. Hopefully this does not count as in the water. Wait. Terrell, Terrell, stop. Terrell. Okay, this is... I'm just going to try and take her down. I hope she doesn't... This doesn't count as in the water. Terrell, I think, is still counted as in the water. Oh, good. That is, like, about as close to the water as you can possibly get. My goodness. So now let's run back. So this is one of the safe areas where you can cross the puppies. Not this part, though, but, um... Right, yeah. You can cross through... Uh, it's one of those things where you kind of have to run back and forth a couple of times to figure out for sure. And do we still have an elk herd over here? I see ravens, which usually means elk. So, um... I see scent trail leading this way. Here we go. Although, actually, do we want to hunt from this herd? Or, so we have a carcass there. And then, I think, yeah, we'll hunt him from this herd. It, it probably doesn't really matter um, which one. So I'm going to try and chase several of them off this way. And see if we can kind of guide these three. Nope, nope, nope. Over towards the hunting ground. And that is what wolves would do in a lot of cases. Is they'll try and separate um, weaker creatures from the rest of the herd. Because, you know, like even in Wolf Quest, if you run through the herd, you get kicked quite a bit. And try and herd them closer together. Um, so try to get these guys off this way. Now, if I kill them now, they'll be in stranger wolf territory, and we don't want that. Nope, these two gotta keep coming. Herding elk is kind of difficult. <laughs> and we're losing this one. And we gotta try and get her back with her other sisters, friends, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where is... Nope, she's here, so we gotta try and turn her around, get her to run after these guys. And turn these guys around. I don't want to kill them in Stranger Wolf territory. I may just have to settle for these two. They're gonna get out up here, so I'm gonna get out right. No, you guys do not get to come back this way. You gotta keep running. Keep running. Keep running. You guys keep running. 
Come on, please be shallow. Shallow? Shallow, yes! Okay, so we are going to chase them up this way. Ooh, not shallow, not shallow, not shallow. Where are they? Here's one. Here is two. And we're going to come after these guys. I'm gonna attack her and try and keep this one kind of over here. If we can keep these two over here, that's a very good thing. And I'm not gonna run because I just want, um, well now I'm gonna run, but um, I just want these guys over here. So I'm gonna try and bring her back around and attack her. Come on. And then we will probably, these will be the last two we go after. And I'm going to try and do we have that bunny carcass? We do. Um, I'm going to slow down so hopefully my stamina will start to come back a little bit. And this bunny should help with that as well. There we go. Oh no, there's one in the water. Nope, 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 nope. We're not going to let them get back across this way. They're trying to get back to the herd. You can still see there's some over there. At least the other one that we have been chasing. But we do not want... No, you do not get to go this way. You go the other way. You go the other way. And we're going to try and keep both of them on this side. Where's the other one? Where's the other elk? Do we have one going this way? I don't see the other one. There's one. Uh-oh. I think we lost one of them, perhaps. So we're gonna at least get this one. We might have to go back and chase another elk over. I'm gonna let Terrell attack her, but we do want to make sure we get her to go because right now we probably are still in Stranger Wolf territory, so I'm gonna call him off. And then we're gonna have Katari come and run the elk around this way. And try and chase her this way. Terrell, be careful. <laughs> I don't want him to get her too weak because I don't want her to stop just yet. No, no, no. We want her to keep going just a little bit because we want her to be well out of Stranger Wolf territory. So maybe over by this wheel here, at least. I don't think the wolf territory comes quite this far. And there goes the plane. You can see it in the distance. There we go. We're going to come after her here. Terrell, Terrell, what are you even doing? Terrell, I think, is going to get food of his own. So we will go and get this elk and bring her down. And make sure we get her and then... Um... That might be okay. It's going to be pretty easy, so I think it's going to be all right. So we will go ahead. I actually see the other elk over there still. Maybe we will chase one more out this way. Maybe. I don't know where Terrell went. I think Terrell is getting food. I think we're going to chase one more elk this way. And then we should have more than enough. Try and find one of the ones we were chasing before. And let's go ahead. Try and cross in the shallows. Because this is not quite shallow all the way. You wouldn't be able to make it with puppies right there because you, it would be way too long of a swim. So, let's see. Let's kind of circle the herd. See who runs. Who's gonna run? Who's gonna run? These two. Well, no, not this one. Terrell, be careful. 
so we're gonna run her this way. No, you don't go that way, you go straight. We're gonna run her this way. She's already a bit weakened. Carol, you're not helping. We are gonna keep her keep her going this way because we don't want her in Stranger Wolf territory. And I'm gonna try and put her a little closer to the summer hunting grounds. Because we should have plenty of food to be able to get there now. And we have plenty of food near um near ours. And if we need to, we actually have the cattle ranch quite close to our den site, literally just across the river. So, we could potentially hunt there if we need to while we're still at the den. And that comes with its own risk. It's an easy meal. There's no threat of taking damage from during the hunt. At least from the hunt itself, because you can kill a calf quite quickly. However, should you fail to get out of the ranch in time, you can get shot. Because the ranch is not... Oh, there goes a fox! But the ranch is not in Yellowstone. And so wolves are not protected on the ranch like they are here. And it is legal, I believe, to shoot a wolf outside of protected land. It depends on where you are, I'm sure. What in the heck? What in the heck? That raven! <laughs> that raven is just spazzing! <laughs> oh, that was great! Did it leave? No? I can't, I can't hit it. There we go, it left. Um, But we gotta get this elk. But I believe... Um, even if it's not legal, I think some people probably would still do it. I don't know. It probably would depend on the laws, actually. Individual places. I don't know much about hunting laws. I don't go hunting myself. <laughs> so, I really don't know about what's legal. But I believe in a, some places, at least, it is legal to kill a wolf if it comes after your livestock. And I think I'm, there are places that hunt just like out in the wilderness where people will actually hunt wolves so in some cases they are allowed to be hunted even if they're not directly attacking livestock so outside of yellowstone is not always the safest place for a wolf when it comes to man <laughs> but um so there's that option too and i'll probably i'll probably put up a poll and see maybe maybe as we get a little bit closer to that possibility and see whether or not you think we should go to the cattle ranch, potentially. But for now, we're not. We're just going to go back and mark territory. Because remember, you guys voted that if Katari dies, and that would include getting shot at the cattle ranch, that she stays dead and we just have to move on immediately to one of her heirs. Now, if that happens, we may try and continue with Terrell before if Katari has a litter. We may go into multiplayer and do, because that's how you can play as a single wolf parent, is if you go into multiplayer and make a private game with just you, you can actually play as a lone wolf with pups. So if Katari dies and she has a current litter, I think we would try and finish that litter with Terrell in a, sing in a solo multiplayer game. If Katari dies and she doesn't have pups currently, then that is it. We will go and pick the heir from her surviving pups. And I don't know what we would say about Terrell in that case. Perhaps he would join the pups packs and would kind of be there in the background. Obviously, the game wouldn't account for that. We'd maybe kind of say that he stuck around with one of his um, children who eventually found a mate and became the heir. Or we might say that he went off on his own, but... So that's just a risk to keep in mind. But it definitely is a possibility. Um, so yeah, it, even just in the comments, go ahead and tell me, would you be interested in seeing Cattle Ranch or should we avoid it and just stick to the elk? What do you guys think? What do you think we should do with that? But for now, I'm just gonna get Katari back to the den and Terrell too and um, mark some territory. 
and we shall at least see, I hope, our puppies before we end the episode. And then next episode, we'll have to defend them and feed them and start getting them ready for the journey. And we have to train them as well and teach them to stay near the den because it's a dangerous world. <laughs> and there are a lot of things that would like a little wolf puppy as a snack. So we have to be very careful with them. But hopefully Katari and Terrell's experience, as well as the fact that they are still quite young and capable and strong, will make this litter go well. And hopefully they will be able to survive with their puppies and get another litter all the way to the summer hunting grounds. We shall have to see though. We're just gonna finish marking territory. And we have to remember that was the one thing we struggled with last time was we did have a stranger wolf show up because the territory was not well marked enough. So we have to be really careful with that because those stranger wolves are bad news. They're very dangerous for puppies. And because um, they're very fast and they show up and it's just like all of a sudden there's another wolf. And um, Terrell, are you helping? Yeah, Terrell's helping. He's helping. He's just helping a little distance off. 70%, I think we have to get to like 90 or 95 before we can have puppies. So it's basically just run it, run around and pee on all the th all the things, pee everywhere, mark everything, and just just say this is mine because that's what wolves do. Um, and we will make sure eighty five percent now, and we gotta keep this meter well filled. And ninety one, ninety two. Three, and here we go we have puppies so I'm gonna see so again two males and two females and let's see what they look like we're gonna play on pretty easy and they're so cute so okay we have one male who's golden and the rest the other male and the females <laughs> the one the one puppy all down here, I don't know if you can see my mouse or not, but the one that you can just see the head of off to the side there almost looks like it has a radio collar, but I know that's not the case. It's just the shadows. So that's kind of cool because um, mom, Katari, has a radio collar, but okay. So we have one golden male, and I'm looking at my names here, and I think we're going to try and call. I don't know which one is the gold and the gold colored one. So I think we're going to name, um, I might switch them around, so I think we're going to call someone um, Kanto, oops, caps lock is apparently on, Kanto, um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I don't know if I am or not, and um, I think Rico, and for the females, we have Kaya, and we have, uh, I'm trying, let me, I'm looking through my name list here. Um, let me see. <laughs> I, ha I have the names up to the side here. And I'm kind of glancing through them. And, um, Ashy. So, and these are all names you submitted. I don't know who submitted them. I just have them compiled here in a name. And let's just see because I think Kanto, yes, Kanto is the gold puppy. Rico is a brown puppy. Kaya is a brown puppy. And Ashi is a brown puppy. And Kanto and Ashi are already making their way away from the den. So we're going to stick them back real quick. But then next time we shall oh good ashy came back on her own but next time oh and rico and kaya are playing next time we shall try and train these guys oh and daryl's gonna go play with them too and defend them and grow them up for the journey and i will see you then but until then this is jay over and out i'll see you next time